हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू रिमूव द कंप्यूटर नेम फ्रॉम अ प्रोविजनिंग पैकेज सो बेसिकली अ प्रोविजनिंग पैकेज और पीपीकेजी इज अ कंटेनर फॉर अ कलेक्शन ऑफ कंफिगरेशन सेटिंग्स विद विंडोज क्लाइंट्स वी कैन क्रिएट प्रोविजनिंग पैकेज that let you quickly and efficiently configure a device without having to install a new windows image provisioning package let you quickly configure a new device without going through the process of installing a new image it is also save time by configuring multiple device using one provisioning package also quickly configure user owned device in an organization without a mobile device management infrastructure and set up a device without the device having network connectivity if you have ever created a provisioning package using windows configuration designer or icd you may have noticed that by default you need to provide the computer name to complete the basic configuration steps recently i was working on a project where the requirement was to remove the computer name from the configuration manager package or ppkg file because the machine already had the correct name and we did not want to change it when enrolling the device in intune so let me show you how we can do this when we are creating a provisioning desktop device package let me click on desktop device and let me give the name of the package so my package name is ppkg with device name and i want to save this on desktop i have already created a folder with ppkg device name click on okay and finish now we can see that the very first option is to provide the device name and if we click on that next without providing the device name and go back we can see that the device name is mandatory and we have to provide the device name so let me copy the example device name and then click on next and quickly creating a provisioning package and click on next and i want to enroll this in enter id and then let me click on get bulk token and into this app only and now we can see that the bulk token successfully fetched and if we click on next i'm not going to add any application as well as not going to add any certificate and click on create and now package is created in the desktop let me go to the desktop and open the folder and now we can see that we have a package with device name if i am going to click on that we can see that the package is going to reboot a device and then doing some device customization the very first one is to change the device name in my case i don't want to change the device name because my device name is already correct and i don't want to rename the device with provisioning package now in order to achieve this in order to remove this device name let me show you how we can do this so let me cancel this and then close this again we have to create a provisioning package so let me click on provisioning desktop device and then provide the name of the package this time i am going to provide ppkg without device name and i want to save this package again on the desktop and i have already created a folder called without device name click on next and click finish now in order to remove the device name first we have to provide the device name and complete all the customization you want to perform or you want to configure in all the step so let me quickly do this click on next i want to skip that and then click on next 
and then enroll the device in Azure AD. Get bulk token, and now bulk token successfully fast. If you want, you can also use a local admin. All these things, but for now, I am just interested to show you how to remove the name option. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next. And in the last summary page, we have to go down, and we have to click on the switch to advanced editor. And now you can see that is saying that switch to advanced editor. You can view and configure all possible settings in the advanced editor. Once you switch, you cannot open the project in a simple editor again. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. So I cannot go back again in the same screen. So I am okay with that. Click on yes. And now here, what you have to do, you have to search for computer name. Here we can see that we have two options: computer account, computer name, and dev details, DNS computer name. And if you see the right side, you can see that selected customization. So if you click on accounts and click on Azure, you can see the authority at BPRT token. And in the computer account, you can see that the computer name which we added during the creation of this packet. So I don't want to use this computer name. So what I have to do, I have to select it and click on remove. And now we can see that the computer name is now removed from my package and then what we have to do we have to click on the export option click on provisioning package and then click on next and then click on next and then click on next and click on build a package now we can see that our package is created and the location is the same so click on finish and if we again go to the same desktop folder without device name folder we have a package called ppkg without device name and now if we click on that and open it this time we can see that it is not showing reboot option it is also not showing change the device name it is only showing that few customization except device name and if you click on add it it is going to perform whatever you want to do it like application installation certification installation and so on so that's all i want to show you in this video how you can remove the device name from the ppkg package i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video